Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hashtag Makeup Together, How to Make a Simple Dinner. Uh, I am starting off the week this week on Monday and um, it has, it's been a pretty good day today. Yes. Hello. Love you, buddy. Um, so tonight I'm going to be just making, it's a pretty simple dinner. I'm just going to be pulling together um, some of the, some vegetables uh, with a sausage and I'm going to be kind of making not really making a sauce, it's really just cheese and, and a little bit of ricotta cheese that we're going to put over it. Um, I'm going to be using um, some frozen green beans today, using some carrots. I'm going to use a little bit of onion. Um, I'm only going to be using like two potatoes and a sausage. We're just going to cut it up and kind of put it all together. And then I have been craving cookies, just yummy, gooey chocolate chip cookies. So if you have to eat gluten free, be sure to stay stay watching this video because these cookies that I'm making right now, I made these for um, some holidays. I made them for Christmas and Thanksgiving. My family that does not like, well, they don't not like gluten free, but they would prefer like the real thing with certain things and cookies are one of them. They ate them and the kids ate them and they're so good and they don't taste like, like some things gluten free might not taste as good as the original, but these cookies are delicious. So. Make sure you stay in uh, in tune and watch for me making those because I cannot wait. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with uh, cutting up some vegetables. So I'm going to start off just with cutting um, the carrots and the potatoes because um, these are going to take longer. So um, I'm going to try to cut them up pretty small because I, I don't really want to wait like an hour to eat. So I'm going to cut them up smaller in the pan. I'm not putting anything in the oven because that's where the star of the, tonight's dinner is, AKA the cookies. Um, so I'm not going to cook anything in there and I just really just want to do something really simple, really easy today. So I'm just going to put them in there. So I'm going to just cut these up into like little fourths here. So I cut it in half and then cut those halves in half and I'm just going to chop them up. Um, I just want smaller pieces of these so that way they will cook quicker. I'm just going to throw some olive oil in the pan and cook those until they're nice and tender. Also in this I'm going to be adding in some spinach, um, a little bit of bok choy, and some onion. So I'm going to throw those in closer to time that these are done. So I'm just going to cut these up a little smaller and I love when I am able to do quick stuff like that because today is one of those days where I just want to snap my fingers and have food done but life doesn't work like that it's not that easy <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these up so I got all the veggies chopped up and I'm gonna get these into my pan that's already warmed up with some olive oil and then we'll uh, start cutting up everything else. So as for everything else I'm just going to um, chop it up kind of small and just let it sit out while this is going. Um, so we got some onion, spinach, bok choy. So we're going to go ahead and get that chopped. So I have all the vegetables chopped up here. Um, the food probably in the pan right now probably has about another 10 more minutes and then we'll add all this. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble the star of the show, the cookies. And before I got started on the cookies, I wanted to mention that um, in here, once I put all the vegetables in, I put oil in the pan, but I also added like a little tiny bit of water so that way they don't get stuck to the pan. And I mean like a little bit of water so much that I'm not even going to have to drain this. Um, so just so that way it doesn't get stuck and it kind of helps the vegetables to steam a little bit more um, to cook a little quicker. So I just wanted to uh, make a note of that because I forgot to, to mention that. And um, to know if they're done, just kind of poke them with a knife to see. So the potatoes look like they're pretty much done and the carrots. They still need a little bit longer. So yeah, we have probably about another five more minutes. And so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to it. And just kind of check it as you're cooking to see if you need to add some more, just like a very tiny little bit. And then I just spread it around. So that way it kind of helps them to steam a little bit. 
but we probably have about another five minutes um, of those steaming. So it took me forever to finally find a cookie recipe that I liked and this one is perfect. Um, so I would highly recommend this. This is using a half a cup of coconut flour. This is a fourth a cup of melted butter. You can use ghee if you want to, if you can't have butter. Um, I made it with ghee and um, I mean, it tasted all right, but for some reason for, with me, I can like really taste the ghee and I'm not super fond of it. Um, so this is one third cup of butter, uh, of peanut butter. You can use any nut butter that you want. So if you can't have peanuts, but you can have almond butter, I've made them with almond butter. I've used it, I made cashew, one with cashew butter. And so today, and I've made it with uh, the peanut butter as well. So really you can substitute, you know, based on your diet, anything here that you need. The next is an egg. And if you're egg free, you can use flax seed and water. Um, if you mix one tablespoon of flax powder with three tablespoons of water and just stir it up and let it sit, then it'll get that consistency of an egg. Um, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of honey. The recipe did call for sugar, but I've made it with honey every time and I've had no issue. I'm gonna add just a dash of salt. And then the last ingredient in this is just some baking soda. And we're gonna be adding a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So these are super simple. That is all the ingredients, except for the chocolate chips, but I'm gonna add that. Um, I'm gonna add those in afterwards. Let me check on the potatoes really quick and we'll get that all going. So we have to take a quick break from the cookies um, because the potatoes and everything are done. So I'm gonna add everything else. So this is just some regular kielbasa sausage um, that I'm adding in there. Um, the next thing that we have going in is the bok choy and the spinach. And the spinach, of course, will wilt. The peppers, or not peppers, excuse me, onion. And then the last thing is going to be the green beans. So I'm using frozen ones today. And I'm gonna just pour those in. Then I'm going to mix everything all together and um, put the lid on there with the, with the little bit more water in it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then once everything gets all incorporated, then we'll season it and add um, the other ingredients. It's looking nice and full. I just lost some green beans. All right, so I'm just gonna stir this up, keep it on, I just turned this down like a little bit lower. So I'm gonna stir it up, add a little bit more water, put the lid on it for it to steam and then we'll continue. All right, so now that I have all the ingredients in here, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all together. And so if you're looking at this and you're like, wow, that looks really thick. Yeah, I know. And that's what I thought the first time that I made it. But I'm telling you, this recipe is perfect. So I'm gonna just get all of that out. I wanna use every little bit that I can. And then after I'm done cleaning these guys off, then we're gonna fold in the chocolate chips. But yeah, it is kind of thick and they really don't um, grow too, too much when you bake them. But I'm telling you, they come out the perfect consistency ever. A little sticky in the making, but that's just because of the peanut butter. So I'm gonna continue to try to get all that off and then we'll fold in the uh, chocolate chips. All right, so now I'm gonna be adding in the chocolate chips. I'm using um, special dark. You can use whichever ones you want. I will probably add a little bit more than that, but let me at least stir it around and make sure 
that that's not already too many. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna add any more. I'll restrain myself from using way too much chocolate chips. And so I was debating whether or not I wanted to do like individual cookies or just one giant one. And I'm gonna do one giant one because actually today I was specifically craving cookie cake. Um, so I'm just gonna flop this thing right onto the pan. So let me make some room for that. All right, so I'm gonna be using this stone here. This is one of my favorite things to make cookies on. This is actually also from the Pampered Chef. If you watched my other video where I used an apple peeler core slicer, yes, that's the whole name. That also was from the Pampered Chef. And so I know right now it kind of looks like the chocolate chips are not staying in, but I promise you this is what it looked like every other time I made it. And you would just have to, that's why I didn't want to add too many because it's not like a traditional batter in the feeling. So I just put it all in there. And then I'm gonna kind of make it into a ball. Of course, make sure your hands are clean before you do that. So I'm just gonna fold in all of these chocolate chips to make sure that they are indeed all going to be in there. And then I'm going to flatten it out as even as I can um, on the pan. And the thing that I like about this stone is that they, nothing is gonna stick on here. Do I wanna make it square or circle? I think I'm just gonna make it circle. So that way we can kind of cut it like a little pie. All right, so I'm just gonna push it all in there and then I'm gonna press it down. So that way it's pretty even and flat. I really want it to be round. <laughs> All right, so that is about the size that I want it. Making a little cookie cake. I have not found a good icing recipe yet, but I am in this, I am in search of a good one. So I have the oven already preheated um, to 350 and we're gonna put this in for 15 minutes all right so we're getting the seasoning going now that everything's ready a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and then I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika and then turmeric just a little bit All right, and then I'm going to be adding in ricotta cheese. Not too, too much. And then I'm going to add just a little tiny bit um, of sour cream. But not too, too much. Still trying to keep it, keep it healthy. And I'm just going to stir all that around and let it kind of heat up a little more and I'm going to taste it in a little bit to see if there's anything else that I need to add but I think that this will be good all right well we got the food going the cookies have like one more minute they look perfect be sure to check out my Instagram to see what everything looked like and um, I'll make sure that I leave my Instagram name below so if you have watched this far thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your support uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have any questions or tips or tricks that you would like to share, let me know. And if you make this, tag me in the picture on Instagram. I'd be glad to share it. And um, I would love to see um, if these recipes are working out for you and your take on them. All right, so thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!